Hello, this is Dr. Paul and welcome to Central Michigan's Bigfoot and Wildlife Area. It's beautiful here. Good morning everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Miss Salem here and Mr. Shadow to go see Doc Pole. Hopefully we'll get to see Doc Pole. But I don't know, he's usually busy on farm calls in the spring, but as you can hear, these two aren't real happy about being in the carriers. I think spring has actually finally arrived here for us here in Central Michigan. It is gorgeous right now. It's already 56 degrees at 9.20 a.m. I have two very unhappy cats with me in the car. As you can hear. These two are brother and sister. That Cole knows them pretty well. Especially Salem, he's seen her several times. This is just a beautiful road. It's beautiful in the spring, beautiful in the summer, really pretty in the fall. Some of you will recognize this little covered. It's basically a driveway, but they put a covered bridge over the driveway. It's just really cool looking. Sorry for the dirty window. This is another little town not too far from us. I think one of our subscribers actually from this little town or just outside it. Maybe they'll see this and say, yeah, that's me. I recognize that little town. And it is little. Let's see how many more windows we can see when we turn the corner here. I can't say for sure that these were even here last month when we came. It brought Shadow to the bed. They definitely were not running last time. I had no idea they were putting all these up over here. Things are huge. And everywhere. I had no idea this project was in the works for this area. Wow. Thank you guys for being quiet. I'm making a video. I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen these things in person, but they are freaking massive. And they are everywhere around here. Thanks, buddy. Sorry about the shaky video, I cannot see my viewfinder. Wow, there's got to be a couple hundred of these things around here now. Well guys, this could be really freaking interesting. They are filming Doc Pole's show today. <laughs> there's a camera guy over there. 
There's some camera people over there interviewing somebody. Now that I've gotten over my fear of being on camera, maybe. We'll see. I really don't want to be on national TV, but this could be interesting. But I got to go check in. I'll be back. Oh, there's Doc himself. So maybe we will see him today. Awesome. Well, good news, everyone. I just got done checking in, and I asked if I would be seeing Doc Pohl, and she said, well, we can schedule him if you'd like, and I'm like, that would be freaking awesome. So hopefully he's kind enough to let me get him on camera, even though the camera crew's here. I don't know <laughs> what Nat Geo's rules are about filming the doctor while they're filming him making a TV show. We'll have to check that out, so... Pretty cool, guys. Stand by. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, just hanging in there, <laughs> running like an idiot. Which you one? have two cats. I have two. Oh, what? take one, you take the other. All righty. Be right behind you. Looks like we're heading in. Well, we're in the room. As you can see, Mr. Shadow's not very happy. Yeah, he got the long lasting shot and then the pain pills. Yeah. Come here, big guy. We gave him a good feel. We were able to give him two of the yeah. shots. Is it okay if I record just your voice while yeah. we're talking? Ha ha ha. I don't know how Nat Geo feels about you being I don't filmed. Care. Oh, okay. But, Very but cool yeah. then. If you feel this, there's a bump there. Right I, I ran my thumb down. Yeah, right. And here. I felt, yep, that's exactly where I felt. And it. I think that was almost an abscess at one time and that healed up. So I'm not, no, this, this is more time and okay, you know, cool. less than recuperation, I don't know. What else? That's all for him? That's it for him. Shadow, get back in the box. <laughs> cool. Very cool. That's good. And uh, these two are actually brother and sister. Yeah. You might remember, I know you see thousands of animals, about six years ago we brought their brother Wizzy in. Yeah. And he had a bad case of the Khaleesi virus. Okay. And you held him in your hand and said, guys, this isn't good. I give him 50% chance. He made it. He, huh? he made it. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, you're hiding. Come on. Got a pretty good YouTube channel going. And people are just so thrilled that I that I come here and I see you. And they're like, oh, my God, I love Doc Pohl. People around the world. What do you feed this guy? She eats Imes, kitten caboodle, and uh, and every night the cats get two cans of cat food, wet food mixed with the Imes. This, this is a food allergy. Is it? That's all it is. And it happens, it'll go away. That's yep. why she hasn't been here for a while. Yep. It'll go away and then it comes back. Okay. I want you to find different food because this... Look at this. I know. We have given her Auto Max a couple times. Yeah. It was worse. Yeah, it was worse than that. But yeah, she scratches and cries at times. And I know. It can't be ear mites. I'm going to check this. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Well, you heard what the man said, guys. He did not care if we filmed him. So, this will be awesome. Poor Salem's got some pretty yucky ears. And they're still not happy. Poor Salem. Salem. You're not really going to find anywhere to hide in here. They kind of built it, built it that way. Shadow's gonna be okay. Doc says his limp is going, will get better on its own. That he thinks he had gotten in a fight. That was an awesome visit, guys. I got to see Doc Pohl. He is absolutely as nice as he appears to be on TV. 
Wait till you see what he did for me. And Shadow's gonna be fine. It's just gonna take some time. Salem got her shot to clear up her skin. And unfortunately, she has some ear mites, so that kinda sucks. But man, imagine having that in your backyard. That is insane. Man, what a great visit. You guys will be seeing it soon. And you guys will be home and happy shortly. I'm not sure if I actually filmed this or not, but I did ask Doc Pohl about Bigfoot when we were talking about my YouTube channel, and I told him that we had some crazy shit going on around our house over the last few years, and have you ever had any experience? And he's like, oh yeah, where do you live? And I said, on the river. And I'm not sure that I got that on film, so and I should have went into deeper questioning of like what kind of experience did you have, but I was just kind of starstruck because he did that intro for me. So, pretty cool stuff, guys. I had a great morning.